everybody know Mike's code lock because I don't. So I don't know how to turn the camera back on. Oh no. I wonder if it's like his... I wonder if it's the, the same combination as his matched luggage. One, two, three, four. I think that's it. I'm asking the closest person to him besides his wife. For, that's his tree stand partner in crime, Mr. Brandon. Oh, I got it. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, we're gonna probably come back here tomorrow, midday, and possibly hang a set right up in here. We've got basically two hot days. This, today is like 79 degrees right now on November 15th. Absolutely ridiculous. And tomorrow's supposed to be in the 70s. But then after that, we got a cold front hitting that next day. So I don't know how great the movement's going to be today and tomorrow. But the next day, it should start getting a little better. So if we can get some stands hung and set up for these cooler weather days, hopefully it'll pan out for us. These old farmsteads look so good though, don't they? Yeah. It's become kind of a tradition for Mike and I to put in for Kansas every year. When we found out we had both been drawn again, we could not wait to get out there and hunt with Heartland Pride Outfitters. I actually got in a day earlier than Mike this time and was able to scout a couple properties and, and actually got a couple hunts in. it till about 10 o'clock that morning because we knew Mike and Brandon were supposed to be getting in about then. The temperatures were also supposed to get up to about 70 so we knew that would give us a chance to get out and scout and hang some more stands for that cold front and north winds that we're supposed to be approaching. This has uh, 38 videos of pure gold. Did you check it? No I haven't. <laughs> we're, we're about to find out. All right. Awesome. What happened to your truck bro? Uh, backed into a fire hydrant. Oh no. Some footage of JD this summer. Oh no. Jill did it. Jill did it. Yeah. <laughs> Women. Actually, Jill did this, but I did that. She did, if you go look at the front bumper, that's what Jill did. <laughs> <laughs> We literally were just pulling in to the farm and down running the road is a buck that I have. I just got him on cell camera, not five, 10 minutes before, way up to the north. Then he's down here. We saw him run across the road, jumps over, and then we see one of our shooters that we have on camera right there too. So there must be a hot doe over the hill somewhere in this area. So who knows where they're gonna be in an hour by the time we get set up, but we're gonna do a hanging hunt across the creek here. Maybe by the time we're done, they'll head our way. It's more of a morning spot in my opinion, but we're gonna 
leave all our stuff in the tree tonight. We had to get the stand hung. So we're gonna sit at night and see how it, how it goes. But it's pretty cool, man. It's big alfalfa fields, north and south of us, basically all the way along this edge. And then a creek that runs through it. Big cedar draws off on the west side. It's a good bedding, good food, and it's a great creek system. So the deer up here just run up and down the creek. We saw some crazy uh, running activity in one of our shooters on the way in. So you never know when one might come cruising through. I don't think I've been excited to hunt a set like this or this excited to hunt a set in a long time. I've always had a dream of killing a big buck, walking through standing corn. And I think we might just be able to make that happen tonight. And if not, maybe tomorrow night or tomorrow morning or whenever, but we should have a good wind to hunt this, I think three sets or three times in a row. The wind should be rolling off, starting to come out of the north. It's blowing perfect out of the northeast right now, pushing it back into this little little hillside. And we got a major crossing cutting between these two cornfields, these two standing cornfields. And we've already seen multiple deer on our way in to, to hang the set. But I don't know how great tonight's going to be because we did bump a couple does. We actually drove down in here to try to make it not look so or, you know, to kind of cover up our noise, so. But it was still a little bit noisy getting in here. But it's gonna be a good spot. Gonna be a really good spot. Steve actually eyed it on Onyx yesterday. So I gotta give him a little credit. I gotta admit though, it looks better when we got here than it did on the map even. It looks killer. It looks really good, so. Cowboy. We're both pretty pumped. It's CeeLo, it's CeeLo. He's coming. Chasing a doe. Oh, here's where I'm the hard plan. Buck. Unfortunately. 
unfortunately, she did not bring him to us, which is what we needed. I didn't want to overcall with it being so calm. You know, I, I let him know we were here. He heard the crowd. He knew we were here, but he wasn't leaving her. I didn't want to spook her. So, so, so light went in kind of swirly. So, play it safe. Hopefully, we'll be rewarded in the long run. The patience will be rewarded. Ty's hunt went just about as expected with the noisy setup, but we were both feeling pretty optimistic with the weather moving in. And honestly, we both had a couple shooters on the properties that we were hunting. So we knew with the rut being in full swing, it was just probably a matter of time. Steve and I sneak in here all sneaky like. Getting here early, everything's going great. And then we get this stupid crop duster that is literally flown over our head like 15, 20 times now. This is getting ridiculous. Do you know this crop dusting scare white tail?
we saw the same uh, couple three-year-olds that we passed. But I don't know where the big boys are at. I don't know if they're locked down with those. Taking a nap or what. We can't seem to buy one. Just want one chance, Lord. So give us one opportunity. Well, it's getting down to the end of our hunt here. We've got, this is our second to the last evening hunt, and we're back in the tree where we're at. And again, we're after the three shooters that are in here. Double D, big double drop time, flat top, and then a seven pointer called the Lucky Seven. another buck right here. either when we left the tree stand until we got back to the cabin and watched the video and sure enough the buck that come in late that I thought was a different buck was actually one of the shooters just not one of the giants it was one of those quick split decisions and I didn't recognize him because we thought he had just walked in the woods and there was some confusion and anyways I missed an opportunity that's what it boils down to so, with the good Lord's grace and a little faith on our side, hopefully we get a second chance. All right, it's our last hoorah. We've got one night left, one afternoon hunt, and one morning hunt tomorrow morning. 
We decided to come back to the same spot that we've been hunting these last couple nights. We actually just hung a, hand, a stand further east because the winds ch switched on us. We don't have a southwest wind, so we moved the stand further uh, east out of a spot that Jordy and, and Cody and the guys used to have a stand. Mike said he's hunted this spot too, so said it's a pretty easy hang, and it was. So we got up there and got everything hung, and we're going to slip in here, and hopefully we get lucky three nights in a row over here. We've been seeing a lot of deer. It's a pretty good spot, so. Steve really likes it, and I'm just trying to make my cameraman happy, right? Let's do it, buddy. Let's Last it. night. Let's go. That much to shoot through. Oh my lord. Oh. I don't even know what to say. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. stud. Was that drop time? He had a drop. Was that drop time? It might have been. He had a drop for sure. Oh shit. Oh. I'm sorry, just. Oh my god. Oh my god. We don't even have our mics on. We literally got in the tree 15 minutes ago and we're just shooting some shots. I didn't have my, my release was in my thing. Thank God my bow was hung up with the thing. Oh my gosh. He had to hurt us. I think he heard us talking. I thought he was going to turn around. I thought he was going to turn oh, around. I did too. That's why when he started walking that way, I'm like, I had this much to shoot through. He had like five more steps and it was a wide open lane. And I'm like, it's now or never. I got to shoot oh him now. Gosh. And that's why I was like, you on him? And I'm like, I don't I want think, to go. I think we nailed it. I think it's Oh, like, please, Lord, let that be a good shot. I mean, he ran off hard. I mean. Yeah. I couldn't tell anything. I could, the I sun's right there. there. Please, Lord, let that shot be running. I know it hit him hard, but it seemed like it was maybe just a smidge high. <laughs> we just climbed in the tree, and I look at my phone. Just got word that Ty shot the giant double drop time buck. 2.30. Had him come cruising, he's probably, I don't know, half mile north of us. They said they were barely even ready, set up, tied in his release on, he came right, right to him on the uh, opposite side of the creek. 
thinks it's a good shot, so I'm so, so pumped for him. All right, here's a moment we've been waiting for. We, uh, we went up there and just kind of killed some time trying to be patient and wait for a couple hours, and we're getting ready to go back in. But we're gonna get across this creek and get in that corn and see how much blood. Pretty sure we got like 10 or 12 inches of penetration. We looked through the video quite a few times and kind of shared it with all the other HB guys and everybody's thinking he's dead. They confirmed that he's dead, so he better be dead. <laughs> Here we go, bud, let's go. There's blood all over the corn. Just sprayed. Oh, look at the tree. Look at that. Just what we thought about 12 inches or so penetration. That's good blood there. He's spilling it, dude. He's spilling it. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Look at that giant. <sighs> Can you believe it, Steve? What an absolute stud deer. This, both double drops, kind of curl in and out. Dagger points, mainframe 10. <sighs> we were blessed tonight, buddy. So blessed, or should I say, midday blessing. What a giant. <sighs> Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, Jordy. Thank you, Mike. Oh, these are the moments we live for. They're far and few in between, but when they happen, they are just so rewarding. That is an absolute giant. Unbelievable. Is that the coolest thing ever? That is a dream deer. No doubt about it. Oh, he looks so big and pretty coming in. Whew. We got him, dude. Unbelievable. We did it. That was a fun, long week of hunting. And we, we scored. Oh, thank you, Lord. I just want to lay down and just relish in this moment for like forever. Oh, thank you, Lord. Here comes the cavalry. Dude. Right up, brother. Congrats. Thanks, sir. Jeez. Can you believe it? You didn't get far, huh? No, he really didn't. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I couldn't believe it. We could not believe our eyes when that <laughs> happened that quick. After not killing in Kansas the past two years, I was not going to be picky. I told myself the first opportunity at a mature deer, I was going to take it. Lucky for me, it just so happened to be the biggest buck on the farm that Mike and I were hunting and the second double drop time buck that I've killed on the camera for HB. Hanging out that night after I killed the double drop with Steve, Mike, and Brandon is one I will never forget. It is a reason I will never stop archery hunting as long as I live. There's somebody's coming. Man, you can't even have lunch. Mike's no. just gotta show up, mm -hmm. ruin the party. I just sneak down here. No, this isn't in slow-mo. Do it faster. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I've given it all I've got, Jim. <laughs> oh, I got it. Don't let it win. <laughs> it is better than it looks. I mean, it could be that I haven't eaten in three days. But, uh, I actually just had one of these a couple hours ago. And it was just as good a couple hours ago. Now the bread on these things. I don't even need, I don't, it doesn't even have like mayonnaise or anything. It doesn't need it. But it's so good. It's, the bread's so moist. It doesn't even need mayonnaise. Good night, good night, buddy. I feel it. Come on, give me a percentage. Because there's, there's three shooters, right? 33% chance. 